Hey, what's going on guys? As some of you know, I spent some time working in security and in dealing with compromised web servers and web server security. It's an extremely interesting field. It's an extremely lucrative field and one that changes very quickly. Humble Bundle is doing uh, another book bundle, the Cybersecurity Book Bundle. And I thought a lot of you might get a real kick out of this, especially if you haven't played much with security yet or you're just kind of looking to build your security library with a couple of really interesting things. There's a couple books in here where I would bet you that 15 bucks just for that one book would be worth it. I have a, a partner link with them, so if you want to support the Tutorial Linux channel and all the delicious free Unix Linux programming and other videos that I do here, you can use the link in the description to grab these books and support Tutorial Linux uh, while you're at it. I'm going to quickly go through a couple of the standouts in here, but just to give you a very, very quick overview, here are the different tiers and the books that we're going to talk about, at least some of these we'll talk about. Good old Schneier. He is extremely represented here. I wouldn't say he's overrepresented because this guy invented big chunks of the field. So let's jump right in and talk about some of these books. The Certified Ethical Hacker Version 9 Exam Study Guide. Um, it's pretty interesting because although it doesn't cover any of these things deeply, and that's also one of the criticisms of this book in the Amazon reviews, it does seem to actually cover a very broad range of subjects. It's definitely worth approaching the subject from a different perspective. Even though your day job is likely to be, how do I maintain these things? How do I run them in a cost-effective kind of way or scalable kind of way? Coming at the subject from a perspective of how do I brutally destroy and break into these things can definitely teach you things that you wouldn't have learned otherwise. So I do recommend looking at it through this lens, um, and this seems like a pretty good place to get a broad overview of a lot of different subjects. The Malware Analysts Cookbook. I think this is a really interesting book. I actually remember first seeing this in a bookstore and spending like two hours just starting to read through it. It's a little bit dated. I think some of the practical aspects have changed, but the, the theory by and large uh, is still the same, and learning about all these concepts, you kind of can't go wrong. But I mean, look at chapter five, you know, researching domains and IP addresses. You can never go wrong learning how to use DIG or learning how to work with Whois. Security engineering. Uh, this is, uh, if you don't know who Bruce Schneier is, you should go to Bruce Schneier's blog and start reading. Uh, he's written a lot of the sort of most important books in security, both from a business and management kind of perspective and also uh, from a theory perspective and from an engineering perspective, like actually writing cryptography algorithms. I have to admit, I haven't actually worked through this myself, but it's fascinating and I will definitely start giving a serious look at this now. This is basically a high level overview of all the stuff you need to think about to build security into systems that you're engineering. The fact that you can pick this up for 15 bucks right now is probably worth the price of admission alone. More Schneier. Applied Crypto. This is a very, very practical book on cryptography. It is outdated, absolutely. You should not just implement what you see here and then use it, but it's a historically significant book. I leave it to you and Wikipedia to figure out why. Yeah, it's just one of those one of those tomes that a lot of people learn from and that certainly would be fun to work through to learn the concepts and maybe implement some of your own things for fun, not for real let the mathematicians and cryptographers actually do the work of implementing everyday algorithms that we all rely on. I mentioned before that a great way to learn about a subject is to approach it from an angle that you might not have approached it from otherwise that applied to the certified ethical hacker course materials. I think the web application hackers handbook is another probably much more in depth about one specific area of penetration testing and security, which is just web applications. That is certainly covered in the CEH book, but this is all about that. So again, not totally up to date, but certainly comprehensive, and it will certainly teach you the basics that you need to know. The Art of Deception. This is one of those ultra famous books. Uh, I read it when I was embarrassingly young, I think when this first came out. I, it's a whole lot of hype. I think you should read it and make up your own mind, but... Um, actually am not super impressed with this guy. He's extremely good at self-promotion, but I, 
actually don't think there's a huge amount of substance. He was a super elite hacker back when anyone pretty much with a brain could be a super elite hacker. Not not super impressive, and the guy's totally full of himself, but make up your own mind. Finally, I just want to cover two books. They're also by Bruce Schneier, um, and these cover things from a more theoretical perspective. This is a much easier read. It's like not practical, technical stuff. It's how to think about security, security problems in our society, in our world, in the systems that we've built up. So this is like security theory for an MBA program. Still interesting stuff, but not technical in any way. And a lot of it will seem obvious to you if you have done any of the practical security stuff. Memory forensics. I just thought this one was cool. Intro to memory forensics. It covers how to do forensics on memory. This will teach you probably a lot about how computers work. I'm interested in actually just getting into this, working through it a little bit. The nice thing about it is that it covers Windows, Linux, and Mac OS memory forensics. So that's a quick preview of what you'll find in this bundle. If it sounds interesting, check it out. I would love it if you guys used the uh, the link that I'm providing or just add the partner param with the value of Tutorial Linux to the end of your uh, URL there. That way you can support Tutorial Linux while grabbing yourself some sweet books. Thanks again for watching, and uh, I hope you get some value out of those. Uh, let me know if you do get them in the comments. Uh, let me know which ones you like the best and what you got out of them. I'd love to hear it. See you in the next video.